What's going on, guys? South Texas Fire Captain coming at you with the video of my Q3 setup. So I've got three modes. Mode one is going to be for when I'm on scene and I still want to be visible but not, you know, causing a distraction. It's going to be this uh, slow alternating mode here with red and blue. And then the next mode is going to be for when I'm responding to a fire or to the station. And that's going to be this one here. It's going to be attack mode. It's going to have that red, white, and blue. And then mode three is going to be a simple steady burn white for takedown and alleys. Let me uh, set up the camera uh, about 20 feet away and we'll see what it looks like from a distance. All right. So first off, we'll start with the attack mode here. This is the red, white, and blue. And I really like this uh, option because I can catch the attention of the other drivers and then uh, the next mode is going to be the uh, scene mode. And this is really awesome and great for if you don't make a truck, but they still need you at the scene for assistance or at a grass fire. Your vehicle can still be visible, but not overly distracting the other drivers who are passing through or um, distracting the drivers of the brush truck at a fire. You know, it's, it's still safe. And then here is the takedown mode. And again, this is just two Q3s right now, and um, it's very bright. Well, alrighty, guys, that pretty much wraps up my video for tonight. Um, I need one more light to finish my install, and that is a visor light. I'm going to try my best to get myself a Phoenix one, but if I can't afford it, I'm going to have to go with the Speedtech light. It's about $200 cheaper than a Phoenix, and it's as bright um, but if you guys have any comments, any questions, any concerns, feel free to ask. I'm going to try to get to you guys, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, thank you for being patient with me and thank you for coming on this journey with me. But that's it guys. Again, this is South Texas Fire Captain and as always be safe.